What is your motivation、mm. to do what you do? Good question. Well, first of all, let me say that what I have discovered is two things in your life that are extremely important. One is your imagination, it is the greatest faculty of the mind. And the second that thing that's important, I think, is the love of reading. You glean a lot from the wise people that have gone on before you and are now currently able to teach you a lot of lessons. So, the question is what motivates me at my age? It is what I had hoped, what I wish had motivated me at age 19, and that is to look at life in a realistic way. I have a couple of stories to tell you. And whether or not they are true is really irrelevant. What is relevant is what you glean from them. Okay? The first story I want to tell you is about a man, and we will call him Mr. Campbell. Mr. Campbell loved to tell the story that he came up during hard times, extremely hard times. And he is a self made man, and through his rough and tumbling experiences, he has become a very wealthy man. So, because of this, he does not want his children to suffer. He does not want his children to be in want or need of anything. So, he pampers them. And in his mind, he's being the good parent. Because his kids will never ever have to suffer. Well, when his son is 19 years old, he went and bought his son a really beautiful fast sports car, and his son promptly killed himself by driving way too fast in his beautiful sports car. That's unfortunate, of course, and one does not necessarily have anything to do with the other except to say, I wonder. What if that son was made to have his own life experiences instead of being pampered? Would his life have been different? The second story I want to tell you is about a lady who is 94 years old and she is a hoarder. A few days ago I talked with her and she told me this story that she was upset with her bank, so she went down and withdrew $25,000. And put it to open up an account in another bank. And she's very happy with another bank. She is banking in many different banks all over. And she's very happy with another bank because her $200,000 in that bank is now earning her 2.3% interest. And of course, her assets and all of her worth,、um, she's a pretty, pretty wealthy woman. So I asked her, I said, Don't you think it's time for you to enjoy yourself? Is there anything that you like to do in life? And she said, Yes. I want to build a library dedicated to me. And in walking away from her, I thought about some things. Number one, my own children. I didn't do much for them at all, I could not afford it for one thing. And they all turned out to be superb kids because I never deprived them of the acquisition of their own knowledge and I never deprived them from having their own experiences. So all of them are successful people in their own right, not because of what mommy may have or daddy may have, but because of what they have earned. But let's talk about motivation for what I do. This is what I've discovered. 
I have no interest in hoarding money. I paid my dues. I have had two or three different careers in different genres and different professions, and now I'm fully retired. My concerns now is food, shelter, clothing, transportation, being around really kindred spirits, people of like mind, and being able to share what I know and what I have with others who ask me to share with what I know. I can only eat one meal a day, or one rather one meal at each setting. I have more than enough clothes to last me a long, long time. My shelter, even though it is rented, for today, here and now, it serves all my need. If tomorrow my landlord should say to me, look, you need to get out, then so be it. I will get out, but I have faith in my abilities and I have faith in my decrees to know that I'll be okay. Some people speak about their faith. Some people live their faith. I live mine. And as for transportation, I like my car. I have fun with my car. Every time I drive in it, I have fun in my car. It's an older car. This is the year 2021, and my car is 2014. So it's not a new car, but I love it just the same because it does everything that I want it to do. So, some people are motivated by their ego. They like to know that they are indisposable, indispensable. They are the smartest person in the world. Um, they are extremely important. Their ego drives them. And ego is a very important thing because it is a motivation. It motivates people. Some people are motivated by money because, quite frankly, it is the way that they keep track of their value and, their, and their, um, how important they are. They use money to keep track of how important they are and their value. So, again, money is very important because it purchases the food, clothing, shelter, transportation, and all your needs. But I think gluttony and greed can interfere with true satisfaction. As for my motivation, I am satisfied in being a photographer. I am satisfied in doing what I love to do. And I am satisfied in sharing what I share. So now you know my motivation. Did I answer your question?